Hi, welcome to this Corbin Miles video on drawing pie charts. In this video, we're going to look at how to draw a pie chart. So here's a question that says, 90 rugby fans were asked who they supported. 20 people said England, 5 people said France, 15 people said Ireland, 25 people said Scotland, and 25 people said Wales. So to draw a pie chart, there's some steps to follow. The first step is to add up how many people there are in total, or to add up the frequencies. And this question that's been done for us, we know the answer is equal to 90, uh, but sometimes you might need to add them up yourself. Next, take 360 degrees, that's the degrees in a full circle or the pie chart, and divide that by your answer, divide it by how many people there are in total. So 360 divided by 90, well 90, 180, 270, 360, that's four. So that means that each person is worth four degrees or gets four degrees of the pie chart. So if each person gets four degrees, that's four degrees per person. To find the angles for each one of these sections or for the, each one of these regions of the pie chart, what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply them all by four, the result of that division. So multiply by four, multiplied by four, multiplied by four, multiplied by four, and multiplied by four. And that'll tell us the angle of each section because 20 people and each person gets four degrees each, so that's gonna be 80 degrees in total. For France, five people, four degrees each, five times four, that's 20 degrees. Next, Ireland, 15 times four, well that's 60 degrees. 25 times four, well that's 100 degrees and 25 times 4, that's 100 degrees. And that's it. So they're the angles for the pie chart. To check them, we could add them up. 100, 200, 160, uh, sorry, 100, 200, 260, 280, 360. So we've added them up and checked that they add up to 360. So that's great. And that's it. So first of all, we've added up the total number of people. We've divided 360 by that number to find out the number of degrees per person. And then we've times all of the frequencies by that. Now we know the angles, we're now gonna draw the pie chart. So to draw a pie chart, what we need is we need a circle with a line from the center straight up to the top. Quite often in an exam question that's drawn for you, but if you're just drawing one yourself, you'll need to get a, a compass. And you'll need to draw yourself a circle and then find the middle point. You'll find that from the indentation of where the compass points pushed into the paper and drawing that up to the top of the circle. Okay, so now we've got that, we're now gonna draw a pie chart. So the first section we need to draw is for England and that's 80 degrees. So we're gonna get our protractor. I get your protractor. It looks something like this and we're looking for the zero on the outside. So zero on the outside is here, this one here and we're gonna rotate it so that's at the top, okay? So make sure the zero is at the very top of your protractor there, okay? Next, to get the cross where the two lines meet in the center of the protractor and put that on the center of the circle or the center of the pie chart so that the line going straight up is matched up with the zero degrees at the top. Now we want an 80 degree angle, so we're gonna go around from zero right the way around to 80 there, and we're gonna do our dot. And then what we're gonna do is just move our protractor out of the way and we're gonna get a ruler and we're gonna draw a line from the center of the pie chart through that dot to the edge of the pie chart. And that's a section for England, okay? So we're then gonna write in there England, so just so we remember what it's for. And then we're gonna draw our next one. Our next region is for France and that's 20 degrees. So we're gonna get our protractor. We're gonna again look at where the zero on the outside is, so that's there. And we're gonna rotate that round so that it lines up with the line we've just drawn, okay? Again, making sure that the cross goes on the center, okay? So we just need to line up that line, so we'll line it up to there. And as you can see now, we've got our zero lined up uh, with the line, and we're gonna find our 20 degrees. So go around to 20 degrees and do another dot there, okay? Again, let's move our protractor. Let's get our ruler and draw a line from the center of the pie chart through the point to the edge of the circle there. And again, that's we'll labeled the section and that's for France. Our next section, our next region is for Ireland and that's 60 degrees. So go back to our pie chart, get our protractor. Again, we wanna get the center of the pie chart, or center of the protractor on the center of the pie chart, so there. And we just wanna rotate the zero all the way to the line we've just drawn. Okay, so that's a zero on the outside. And we're drawing a 60 degree angle for Ireland. So we're gonna to go to zero and we're gonna go around to 60 degrees. And that brings us to here. So, so that's that angle. We're gonna move it. We're gonna get our ruler. 
a pencil. We're going to draw a line from the center of the circle through that point to the edge. And we're going to label that section Ireland. So Ireland. Our second last region is for Scotland and that's 100 degrees. So we're going to get our protractor again, put the center on the center of the pie chart. So there, and we're going to rotate it. So again, that the zero on the outside is on the line we've just drawn. So just line it up carefully. Zero on the line and we're going to go round to 100 degrees. So here to so get our pen 100 degrees and put a dot and then move the protractor and again, get the ruler and join it up to the center of the circle. Okay, so center the pie chart to the edge through that point and we're labeling that section for Scotland. And the last section is for Wales and it should be 100 degrees also. Now that angle in there should be 100 degrees. So if we get our protractor, move the zero on the outside all the way to that line. So to here. moving it around we should find that the angle that's left is 100 degrees and that's what we can see so that means we can just label the last section wheels and we have drawn our pie chart and that's it so to recap the steps first step is find the total number of people or total frequency or total of whatever is being looked at divide 360 by that number to find the number of degrees per person or per whatever is being looked at in the pie chart times all the frequencies or all the numbers in the table by that answer to get the angles draw a circle uh, or, or you know draw a circle where the center of the circle is joined up to the top of the circle and then just draw each section making sure that you label each section and that they are the right size and that's it